Hi guys, welcome back if you are returning. Welcome if this is your first time stopping by. If you are newly subscribed, welcome and thank you. I recently posted a picture of my cheese stuffed lamb meatballs on Instagram and someone asked for the recipe, so here it is. In my bowl I have one pound of ground lamb into which I press two cloves of garlic. You can use more or less. I'm using Fontina cheese today. The last time I made them I used um, provolone. I have my seasonings back there. As usual, the measurements are in the description box. Seasonal salt, parsley, cilantro, thyme, oregano, rosemary, white pepper. <laughs> I'm going to grate some of that onion into my lamb um, and then we'll get to working everything together. I'm also preheating my oven to 375 degrees on convect and I've lined my cookie sheet with parchment paper. So I'm grating about two tablespoons of the onion I'm going to cut my cheese into cubes and then we're going to get to mixing. You can of course use um, breadcrumbs and eggs and all that, but I'm keeping this clean today um, and I'm just using the lamb, the cheese, and the seasonings. So let's mix that in. Forget the spoon. I'm going to go ahead and get my hands working because ain't nobody got time for this. <laughs> So we're gonna work that really nicely and then we'll get ready to start forming the meatballs. I've also added some oil to this bowl just to help keep my hands from being sticky. If you want your meatballs to be the same size, you can use a tablespoon to measure out the meat. I'm just using my eyes to gauge. <laughs> so just um, roll up the ball, flatten it out, and then you're going to put a cube of cheese in the center and then you're going to try to seal it back up. Make sure that it's nice and sealed so that all of your cheese doesn't seep out. You will have some seepage, but that's okay. Just make sure that you do your best to seal the meatball back up. And then that's going on the cookie sheet, again, lined with parchment paper. So just go do the same thing until all of your meatballs are formed. I'm going to just let you watch as I do this. And voila, all of our meatballs are formed on our cookie sheet, ready to go in the oven. Again, it's a 375. I'm using Convect. As you know, I love Convect because it just blows the heat around and you don't have to turn your meatballs over. And 18 minutes later, boom, our meatballs are ready. Give this a shot, guys. It's pretty quick and easy. I served it with a dipping sauce this day, but you can toss it in your marinara sauce and serve it over spaghetti. Enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.